Hi, it's me again with Crowd Roll Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this file, and it's pretty clean. It's pretty good looking, but if we look at it in a yellow box trick, go to object order back of page, you can see it's got white. So it needs to be, it's a bitmap, so it needs to be traced. So we'll grab it. I've already made it really little. It's less than two, two and a half inches. It was a lot bigger. I'm going to go to trace bitmap, outline trace clip art. It's going to take just a second. Uh, but it traced it. I, I didn't give it much hope. And, uh, and there is a way you can do some stuff to remove the white background. But I find this just as easy to do it this way. <clears throat> so it's almost done. I'm not going to do anything about the detail. It traced it pretty good. It looks a little funny, but you can see it's already pretty good. So now our new copy, you can see all the white background in the item. So we need to get rid of that. So we're going to actually go and go to object and group and ungroup. And then we're going to grab one of the whites and you can see it's white down here. We're going to go to edit, find and replace from selection find all I'm going to go control G to group it and then I'm going to hit delete so now we have this and it's broken already into parts so now what we're going to do let me go ahead and just move this out of the way we're going to make it bigger about the size let me get rid of the yellow box um, the size that you might do want to do a layered art so it's uh, it's almost symmetrical. Uh, it's not quite perfectly round, but that's just the way Corel measure been. So let's make sure we grab it all. And then let's just stretch it. And it's like, let's make it a, let's lock our ratio. You know what, let's make it, well, we don't have to make it. Yeah, it should be perfect because the edges are the same. So let's unlock our ratio and let's make it 12 by 12. So now we have, let me, um, let me back up here and get it out of the way of this. And so with our ratio unlocked is 12 by 12. That makes everything equal. Now you can see that there's some blue tints and stuff and it. She really, originally said, you know, like a three layered artwork. So it's 12 inches. We're going to set our nudge factor on 14 and we're going to grab this outer layer. Hopefully move this one more time out of the way, grab that outer layer and move it out of the way. So this is going to be your bottom layer. <clears throat> I'm not going to go through all the steps, but what we need to do to each layer is look at it and see it's kind of like a feel. So we're going to grab it and we're going to go to object, break the curve apart. Whoop, that didn't work. Let's go, uh, let's try this. Let's go to object and convert the outline to an object. And then I'm going to left click. I didn't have it selected. Go to uh, left click, right click in red and go ahead and make it a hairline because that's going to be our cut. So what we need to do, this is going to be our, basically we're going to make four layers. This is going to be our third layer down or basically our bottom layer. But we need a, we need a structure inside that. The easiest way I know how to do it is take a box, take the Smart Fill tool, let's set it on just black, and fill that in and now we have that shape. So if we move this out of the way, we have the outside border. I'm going to left click, right click, go to object, break the curve apart and get rid of our box. <clears throat> now I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way. And because it's symmetrical now, I can hit P and put it at the center of the page. So this is going to be our bottom layer, and this is going to be our uh, third or next one up. Um, 
you really don't have to do anything to this layer. So what we're going to do, we're going to make sure this is grouped. So we're going to control G and then we're going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. So what that is, that's going to be our layers, our two layers. Let me back up here. Let me, let's say you painted this a blue. And then you take this and put it on top of it. Go to object order front of page. Let's, um, I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's fill, see how easy this is going to be to fill it in. It's all open. So we're going to make this layer, let's say we're going to make this layer yellow just so we can see it good. So we're going to turn the whole thing light yellow. So that's what it's going to look like on the third layer, if that makes any sense. You don't have to do anything else to that. Uh, of course, this is going to be cut out, and then you would paint this yellow. So let's just back up here and work on the next layer. The next layer, and sometimes this would almost be easier just to redraw it, but in this case, it didn't work too bad. So we're gonna, for just a second, we're gonna move this out of the way. Well, this is what we really need, but we're gonna move it out of the way. This is still grouped together, so we're gonna hit P. We're gonna hit P and, and do this. So here's what you need to do to the second layer. And what's gonna happen, let me go ahead and, and left click, right click, which is gonna be the cutout. Well, you really need to keep it black. Uh, let's keep it black. You can change it to a red hairline later. Uh, just so we can see what, what layer we're working on. So I'm gonna just right click black. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky. <clears throat> you need to be able to cut this. Well, this is gonna cut out and fall, but if you want it to go all the way through to the next layer, you have to do a couple of tricks. And since our, and I'm only gonna do the second layer and the third layer on top would be pretty much the same. I'm gonna take the Smart Fill tool and I'm just gonna to happen to use blue just so we can see it good. And then I'm gonna turn all these into blue and I'm just nudging them out of the way. And I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way around. This takes a little bit of time, really no way else to do it. But you'll understand. And then the, the top layer would be exactly the same. And I have quite a few videos. I'll try to link one to the bottom on layered art. Um, and then I think we got them all. So now what you can do is take all these and left click, right click, and then group this together. Then we're gonna open up the contour tool, go to effects, contour. We're gonna contour to the inside, I, I'm gonna say 0.1. That's not bad. Let's go quite not much. Let's go 0 0.05 and let's do it in red. The colors right now don't really matter. Trying to get to RGB. Okay. What that's gonna do is give us our layer for the next layer. Maybe it's gonna be a little bit too little, but it'll work. So now what you need to do is take the, go to object and break the contour. We need to select it all a lot of times. Go to object and break the contour apart. Now the contour is still a group. So if we grab that outer contour and move it down, this is our new cut. Then take our second layer and move it down, and then move this layer to the third layer. And then when you put this on top of it, you'll be able to see that blue. So let's just do that. Let's put our blue, let's hit P, put it in the center of the page. So that's what it's gonna look, well, let's do this. Let's see even better than that. Let's make, this layer yellow again. 
And this is the, probably the hardest part of doing one of these is painting it. Or not, no, painting is easy. Uh, gluing it together. Um, you just want to lightly glue it. So we're going to make that layer yellow. We're going to make the next layer green. And then this is what it's going to look like when we bring in the blue. You're going to, you've already got three layers. So you've got a green layer. The red lines are going to be the blue showing through, basically. Uh, they'll be actually be covered up. And then just do that for the last layer. And, you know, which is this one right here. And just now, one thing I really, no, I did it. Um, I made it 12 inches. If we look at this close, see, this has a lot of cut. So I would really kind of stop here because you know, we're going to go to object, convert it to an outline. Uh, we're going to left click, no fill, right click in red and go ahead and make it a hairline. You can see the difference. I don't know why that looks black. Huh. There must be, it's got several fields. Let's go to object. Well, it's already grouped. Let's convert, convert it to an outline. That may be what we need to do. Just grab that. There we go. And then right click in red. And that's going to be your cut line. That's going to be your hairline. So if we put it all back together, and let's say you make this color, um, let's see what color we haven't used. Let's just make it this orange. Takes a little bit of time because there's a lot for the smart field to fill. And then we hit P, put it in the center of the page. That's what it's going to look like. Pretty cool. Be a kind of a hard one to glue. You do really have to uh, lightly glue it on the back, you know, just uh, with a wood glue, and uh, it'll be pretty cool. Now we got a big, big hole in the middle, um, so you might want to go ahead and add another layer, you know, maybe this other part. Uh, that would, I mean, still not going to look bad. This is just going to be a ring with everything in blue is going to be blue. Everything in red is going to be red. It's a little bit deceiving on these cut lines, uh, but it'll be something you can see, and it'll totally be different. Anyway, and if, if I forget to put a link, just search on one of my videos, uh, Layered Art, and they'll, you'll get a little bit more information. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.